Welcome back to Awesome Possum Hobbies and Games. I am Chris, and it's time for another Ma uh, My Horizons 3 opening. This is uh, one of the most popular ones. This is Commander Deck Eldrazi Incursion. Let's check it out. My Horizons 3 Commander Deck. This is the Eldrazi Incursion, which is one of each color plus. Colorless. This uh, commander deck is supposed to include a sample pack and two traditional legendary foils. Let's go ahead and uh, check her out. Open her up. The end of the rainbow, and of course, can't read the rest. Inside, you got some punch out tokens, single sided, along with. Nice little fold out here. It talks about uh, Ula uh, Eek, Fused Atrocity, and the rest of the deck along with the, the Commander Rules, which that doesn't interest me, so I'll put that straight into the recycling. And of course, the deck and D. Nice little uh, spin down counter that goes down from 40 down to zero. And then also a cardboard cutout box that goes straight into recycling. A Mon Horizons 3 collector sample pack, which we'll put that off to the side. Let's go ahead and zoom in. And start those recycling real quick. It's off my desk. Get straight into this. Ulilek Fuse Atrocity for combination colors of colorless white, colorless blue, colorless black, colorless red, colorless green, or co any combination thereof. Uh, legendary creature, legendary creature Eldrazi, it's a 2-5, Devoid, this card has no color. And when you cast Eldrazi spell, you may pay to colorless if you do copy all spells. You control and then copy all other activated and triggered abilities you control. You may choose new targets for the copies. Mana abilities can't be copied, so that's a, de a definite important distinction in case there's more colorless creatures or Eldrazi creatures that come out in the future that have uh, colorless abilities. As last, the Swelling Scourge for three generic mana for a 2-2 two -two legendary creature Eldrazi. Uh, when, uh, whenever this card or another colorless creature you control dies, you get an experience counter for one of each color mana, white, blue, black, green and red creatures you control get plus x plus x till end of turn where x is the number of experience counters you have scions and spawns you control gain indestructible and, and annihilator one till end of turn great for uh, the spawn deck snap uh, snapping void crawl this is actually we're going to skip this card because it's already in the, the regular set we're just going to stop and talk about the cards that are special for this deck heralds of horn this is a great reprint uh three drop for an artifact as it enters the battlefield you get to choose a creature type creature spells you, uh you cast of the chosen type costs one generic to less to cast at the beginning of your upkeep look at the top card of your library if it's a creature card of the chosen type you may reveal and put it in your hand ever flowing chalice good reprint glaring flesh raker waterscape battle mage crib swap great reprint one white two generic for a country instant shapeshifter has changeling this card is every creature type um, exile target creature, its controller creates a 1-1 one, one shapeshifter creature token with changeling. And Talisman of Resilience, good reprint, too generic for an artifact. Taps reduce colorless or taps produce a green or black. And this card deals one damage to you. Heldron Archive, great reprint. Spawning Bed, another good reprint. Ulamong's Nullifier. 
another reprint. Uh, it's a 2 3 for a blue, a black, and two generics, a 2 3 with the void flash of flying, and it's a Eldrazi processor. Uh, when this card enters a battlefield, you may put two cards your opponents own from exile into the owner's graveyards. If you do, counter target spell. Twisted Landscape, Tranquil Landscape, Nice Landscapes, Tectonic Edge, Reliquary Tower, Soul Ring, Arsene Kozilek, Reprint, Opal Palace, another good reprint. Olabog's Dead si or Dread Sire for 10. This guy is bonkers for 10. It's a 10 10 creature Eldrazi Vigilance. Ward sacrifice a permanent with mana value of one or greater, so it can't be a land. Uh, tap creature a create a 10 10 color a colorless Eldrazi creature token. So you attack with vigilance, and then at the end of turn or under your opponent's turn, you just tap it to create a 10 10 Eldrazi. That's <laughs> super cool. Benthic Anomaly, one blue, six generic for a seven eight creature Eldrazi Serpent with the void, of course, it's colorless. Uh, when you cast a spell for each opponent, choose a creature that player controls, create a token that's a copy of one of those creatures, except as power and toughness. Um, as power is equal to the, the total power of those creatures, as toughness is equal to the total toughness of those creatures, and it's colorless Eldrazi creature. Eldritch Immunity for a one colorless is a kindred instant Eldrazi. Target creature you control gains protection from each color till end of turn. Overload is one uh, colorless for generic. To make it so, it target it has each of your creatures instead of just target creature you control. Selective Obliteration. This card's interesting. I don't think it's gonna see much play. I think it's one of those things that automatically gets cut for two. Uh, two colorless, three generic sorcery. Each player chooses a color and then exiles each permanent unless it's colorless or it's only the color that it's color or controllers choose. So pretty much if you're playing against someone that's playing a mono color deck or just has mono colors, it's really going to just affect a portion of their board. Um, unless they're playing multicolor cards, that's when this card will really shine. I ultimately, I don't think it's a great choice. Um, you know, it's it's interesting deck uh, uh, card design, but at the same time, it's not great. Next one is Angelic Aber uh, Aber uh, Aberration. <laughs> Say that three times fast. Um, for a white and five generic, it's a four four creature Eldrazi Giant Angel with the Void Flying Vigilance. Uh, when this card enters the battlefield, sacrifice any number of creatures, each with base power or toughness of one or less. Create that many four four colorless Eldrazi Angel, angel creature tokens with flying and vigilance. Bismuth Mind Render for a black and three generic. This card's kind of interesting for a 4-3 uh, creature Eldrazi Devoid with Menace. And whenever this uh, card deals combat damage to a player, that player exiles cards from the top of their library until they exile a non-land card. You may cast that card by paying life equal to the mana value rather than paying its mana cost. It goes in a few benthic decks. Um, it's interesting. Uh, Hideous Taskmaster. This is a fun... Uh, card it might go in just some select red decks not necessarily having to be an eldrazi themed deck for a red six generic it's a seven two creature eldrazi with the void when you cast a spell for each opponent gain control of up to one target creature that player controls until end of turn untap those creatures they gain trample haste and annihilator one till end of turn trample haste and annihilator one twins of discord seven generic for an eight six Creature Eldrazi. When you attack, choose odd or even. Creatures with a mana value of that quality can't block this turn. Each other colorless creature you control has Bloodthirst 2. This card's cool. Mutated Cultist for a black and two generic for a 1-3 creature Eldrazi Horror. Has the void, so it's really colorless. When you cast this spell, remove all counters from up to one target permanent or opponent. Then uh, the next turn you cast this turn, 
Uh, the next spell you cast this turn costs one generic less to cast for each counter remove this way. And it's a 1-3 death toucher. So you're able to remove poison counters from an opponent or you're able to remove counters from a target creature or something else um, to really be able to pump out a colorless spell pretty easily or something that has color but it makes it so it's just cheaper. Eldrazi Confluence for two uh, colorless, two generic. It's an instant. Choose three. You may choose the same mode more than once. I like this card. Target creature gets plus three, minus three till end of turn. So you can really give something plus six, minus six to, to kill it. And, you know, negative modifiers make it get around indestructible, which is wonderful. Uh, exile target non land permanent, then return it to his battlefield under, uh, uh, battlefield tapped under its owner's control. Create a 1 1 colorless Eldrazi Scion token with sacrifice this creature to add a uh, colorless. Next one's Spawn Bed Protector for 7 generic for 6 8 creature Eldrazi. At the beginning of your end step, return up to one target Eldrazi creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Create two 1 1 colorless Eldrazi Scion creature tokens with sacrifice this creature to add colorless mana. Chittering Dispatcher, one green, two generic for a two, three creature Eldrazi drone with the void mirrored. So if it attacks one person, if you have multiple people in your pod, you hit create a token attacking each of those other players at the same time. And when uh, this creature or the tokens uh, leave the battlefield, you create a zero one Eldrazi spawn creature token with sacrifice this creature to add a colorless mana. This is an interesting card. Inversion Behemoth. Two uh, colorless, two generic for a 2 9 creature Eldrazi at the beginning of combat. On your turn, switch the power and toughness of each of any number of target creatures until end of turn. So if this guy's attacking, you can make all your guys, um, like this guy would become a 3 2, this guy would become a 9 2, etc., etc. Uh, Ugin and uh, This is a great reprint. Eldrazi Conscription, great reprint. Cascading Cataracts. Uh, this is a, a great reprint. It's a land, indestructible, taps to reduce colorless, or pay five to add five mana in any combination of colors. Eldrazi Monument, another used to be expensive reprint. Sire of Stagnation, cheap reprint. Shrine of Forsaken Gods, kind of a reprint that goes in any Eldrazi deck. Ugin's Insight, other reprint. Drowner of Hope, reprint. Return of Wildspeaker, reprint. Tendo Ice Bridge. Uh, I believe this is a reprint as well. It enters the battlefield with a charge counter, taps add colorless, tap to remove a charge counter from this card to add one mana of any color. Comes into play untapped, that's interesting. This might go well in an Atraxa deck that you need lots of different uh, colored mana. Uh, because of the fact that you just can continually give it counters if you haven't used the initial counter yet by using Proliferate. Battlefo Battlefield Forge, Landwar Waste, Brushland, Underground River, great cards. Oblivion Sower, another great reprint. Our Dark Heart Waste, great reprints. Carpulsion Forest, all the pain lands. Getting one of each, that's kind of cool. Caves and Coleos, Shivan Rift. Imprisoned in the Moon, another great reprint. This is a, one of the best ways for Blues to deal with uh, some oh, individual uh, cards. So Enchant Creature, Land, or Planeswalker for a blue and two generic. Enchant uh, Permanent is a colorless land with tap to add a colorless and loses all other card types and abilities. So unless they have a way of sacrificing it, if it's you know, attach it to their uh, commander, it just sits in play as a land and not being able to do much else. Fantastic removal card. If you don't have those copies, it's a good time to pick them up because they're they're going to be dirt cheap right now. Temple cards. Ooh, another fantastic reprint. I'm going to stop talking about it because this is a seven cost drop legendary creature shapeshifter changeling. So it is an Eldrazi. It's a six six as. Uh, this card enters the battlefield to choose a creature type. For this deck, it would be Eldrazi. And then spells of the chosen type, you you cast cost one of each mana less. It does not cannot be used for paying, it can only be used for paying colored mana. The 
and for the cards you play. Other creatures of the uh, that you control of the chosen type get plus one, plus one. So those Eldrazi get just a bump bigger, including those Spawns and Scions. Uh, Kozilek's Return, another cool reprint for a red to generic. It's an instant with the void, so it's actually colorless. Uh, when you play, it deals two damage to each creature. Whenever you cast an Eldrazi creature, spells with value value seven or greater, you may exile this card from and uh, from your graveyard. If you do, it deals five damage to each creature. A good way to be able to just blast everything. Uh, but it also will affect your scions and your spawns, so that's something to be aware of. Worldbreaker, another cool reprint. Ruins of Orin Reef. A Sifter of Skulls. Endbringer. Corrupted Crossroads. All these are great reprints. Fathom Skull Taker. Uh, Skulker. Uh, Vile Redeemer. Aldrazi Displacer. Mystic Forge. This is a cool card because for the longest time, a few people at my local game store thought this only affected artifacts. Well, they didn't read the whole card. For a four drop artifact, you may look at the top card of your library anytime. You may cast artifacts, spells, and colorless spells from the top of your library. Since all these things have devoid, they're all considered colorless except for just a few cards in the deck. And then if you just happen to have a land where you can't cast it, uh, you can pay a tap and pay one life, exile the top card of your library, so you're able to start playing again from the, the top of your deck. Of course, it stops pretty much almost any time that you uh, bump into a land on top of your deck. All is dust. Fantastic reprint, seven drop, kindred sorcery, Eldrazi. Each player sacrifices all permanents they control that are one or more colors. Fantastic removal card. And then I'm just going to stop when something else is of significance. Waking Zone. <laughs> One green, two generic. It's an enchantment. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may create a 0-1 colorless Eldrazi spawn creature token that has sacrificed this creature to add a colorless mana. Eldrazi Temple. This is a fantastic reprint. It goes in every Eldrazi deck. It's a land. It taps to reduce colorless or it taps to reduce Color, uh, two colorless spend this mana only to cast Eldrazi spells or activate abilities of Eldrazi cards. Elder Deep Fiend, reprint Binder's Enclave, fantastic draw. Reprint uh, Exotic Orchard, good reprint. Forsaken Monument, this card is bonkers good. Five generic mana for a legendary artifact. Colorless creatures you control get plus two, plus two. Whenever you tap a permanent for colorless, add an additional colorless. Uh, so if you happen to have a Basalt Monolith in your deck, you have a, a good way, once you have Forsaken Monument in play, your Basalt Monolith now produces infinite mana by tapping to produce four, paying three of it to untap itself, repeat process. Man, you can pretty much go through your entire deck if you have uh, that fun little artifact here. Where did it go? Uh, the Mystic Forge. Uh, just as long as you don't draw a uh, top card of your deck as not a land. Then you could just keep playing the cards off the top of your deck as long as you have uh, nine lands on top. Dreamstone Hedron, Arcane Signet, Tomb of the Spirit Dragon. If you, you know, late game, if you need to gain some life, this is a good way, a thing to have in your deck. Secluded Courtyard, choosing, of course, Eldrazi, Idol of Oblivion. And then let's go on to the lands. There's Waste, Talisman of Curiosity, Talisman of, of Impulse, Warping Whale. It's an interesting card, removal for um, for cheap th uh, small creatures or counter target sorcery spells, or you get to create a um, Eldrazi. Scion token, Talisman, Dominance, Command Tower, Ash Barons, Ancient Strings. This card's a fantastic reprint. For a green, it's a sorcery. Look at the top five cards of your library. You may reveal a colorless card from among them and put it into your hand. So that includes a land, because lands are colorless. And then put the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. Olmox Crusher, Groves Uprising, Suffer the Past. Skittering Invasion, Path of Ancestry, Unclaimed Territory, and then here's supposed to be all the regular basic style lands. 
thick stock card, and tokens. Eldrazi Spirit, Eldrazi Spirit, copy Eldrazi Angel, copy Eldrazi Angel, co uh, copy Shapeshifter, Eldrazi Spawn, Scion, 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 and of course, nice little handy card letting you know what you do on your turn. And popular magic formats that usually go straight into the recycling. Let's go on to the collector's booster pack sample pack. This contains two cards and a advertisement. This first card is Disrupting Flute for two generic mana. It's an artifact flash. As it enters the battlefield, you should choose a card name. Spells of the chosen name cost three generic more to cast. Activated abilities of sources you with the, the chosen name can't be activated unless they're mana abilities. And true or tune the narrative for a blue. It's an instant draw a card, you get two energy. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, of course, this deck is hard to find. Um, a lot of retailers, if you go to your local retailer, are charging more than the average price. The, what, the retail price is supposed to be around $69.99. The only way to be able to get that these days is by going to one of your big box stores and be lucky enough to, to get there before, some, before someone else has already purchased the other ones. Right now, if you go go to my local game store, they're selling it for $129.99. Yes, yes, that's so much more than retail. Uh, Paying $60 more in retail, don't do it if you can, though. Um, if you really must get it, it, it's not a bad deck to play. Um, one of my friends at the game store loves playing the deck, though I think that, you know, I think you can get the, the singles for cheaper than what you can find the deck on the secondary market. Well, until next time, I hope you have a fantastic week. Remember to keep it rolling. And thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please take the time to like the video and subscribe if you'd like to stay updated. Have a great day and keep them rolling.